learning how we are learning about Roy DeForest. DeForest was born February 11, 1930 in North Platte, Nebraska. He died May 18, 2007 in Vallejo, California. DeForest was born to migrant farm workers and during the Great Depression. His family lost their farm in Nebraska due to the harsh economic conditions during the Great Depression, and this forced their family to move to Washington. While they were in Washington, the family bought a new farm where they harvested pears and plums. DeForest's family was very poor. Farm life had a very big, important impact on DeForest's art. In 1950, he moved to California where he attended art school. He earned his bachelor's degree. Then he served in the U.S. Army as a sign painter. In 1958, he earned his master's degree. He taught college classes, children's classes, and he even taught prisoners on death row. DeForest is best known for his colorful landscapes and scrap metal constructions. DeForest is described as the pioneer of the funk art movement since he used scrap and junk to be able to make his sculptures. DeForest told his students, create art that makes you happy. Today for learning how, we are gonna make our own foil sculptures. You're gonna be using newspaper and masking tape and other type of scraps we might be able to scrounge up to be able to make your own creation. And then you're gonna cover it in foil to make your own scrap metal creation. What did you make? A hang glider. A hang glider. Well, it actually kind of looks like a star destroyer. Just it super does. star destroyer. Now, oh, I'm going to to draw a thing on here and then it'll be super star destroyer. Well, cool creation. You can draw in there for the markers if you want. Cool, man. Richie, what are you making? Is that too fly? Are you, if she wants to make a road. Are you making a road? Is that too fly? James, what are you making? I'm making a boat. And so far, and I have um, lifeboat so far. Good. I have one lifeboat. Because after reading for the Titanic, we learned we always need to have lifeboats, right? Yes. And yes. make him. Lightsaber. What'd you create? A lightsaber. Sweet. Demonstrate. So there's where the top where the lightsaber is supposed to come out. I added a button for it, and you press it, and then it goes out. And that's about it. What'd you make? This is my superstar square, and it also has a. Star Destroyer inside. Pretty much, I don't know where I'm going to put out the exit. Probably right here. And I'm going to put a little, um, I'm going to put the cannons right here. And the bullets on top. And also a machine gun where, right here where cool. all the bad guys can shoot at the good guys. Who are you supposed to be? Who are you dressed up as? Look, Skywalker's photo. Anakin Skywalker. Yeah. Right. Cool. A rainbow. We got here and here. Wow, I love What'd it. What'd you make? I made a boat. Mm -hmm. Of course, it has a, a boat. Of course, it has some lifeboats on it. And of course, it has a crate on it. Oh, some cargo. And then it goes under oh. here, on, into the into the bottom of the boat. And then I have some other little boats. Like this one, and this one, and this one. Very nice. Do you want to see if they float? Yeah. Let's see if it floats, man. It floats! Let's see if the little white boats float. So do you think if they made the Titanic out of aluminum foil, do you think it would have worked better? No. <laughs> Good job, James. All right, one more life boat. Life. Good job, buddy. Let me see. Move your hand. Oh, the one sinked! You're sinking. That's okay. Well, most of them are floating. Most of them. Subscribe to my channel. Big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that notification bell for you guys for your newest episode. So stay tuned. See you guys later. Bye. Bye.